Good morning. Thank you for joining us on Tuesday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass intention is for the repose of the soul of Jerome Van Epperen. I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion with the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commandments of your sacred law, upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Whatever it, whatever it please him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in, their, in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart the tillage of the wicked is sin. The plans of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rash haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The just man appraises the house of the wicked. There is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who, shout, he who shuts his ears to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial is, Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will mediate on your wondrous deeds. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Your blessing, Father. My almighty God bless you. Amen. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's first reading from Proverbs, we are reminded about living life wisely. A broad set of sayings that are attributed to Solomon are provided and include doing what is right and just, being humble, being diligent, being honest, the value of taking instruction, and so forth. Although all provide great advice, the last line in today's reading seems most relevant to our time. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. We live in troubling times with the COVID-19 pandemic, racial injustice, and the seeds of division being sown by those who should unite. It is easy to get discouraged and just shut others and their opinions out. It's easy to think, it's about me, not we. While it is easy, it is not right. We are reminded of the importance of hearing, of listening, and of understanding those in need. This is a time in which we need to get beyond the narcissism and focus on the narcissisms and focus on understanding those who are suffering. Once we empathize with those who are suffering, what next? The gospel provides insight. Jesus is in a crowd when is he told when he is told that his mother and brothers are outside and trying to see him. He responds by saying, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. Now Jesus is not negating the importance of his family, but instead is likely emphasizing a new set of relationships found in Christ. The basis of these relationships is hearing God's word and acting on them. Those who do so are his family. So, we not only hear the cry of the poor, but we need to, to do something about it. What we do is up to us, but I have to believe it means more than just reflecting on the suffering of the poor. It means doing things to alleviate their suffering. It means taking action that is right and just. Possibly spending time with those needing companionship, donating to an agency that provides necessary services to those in need, or getting out to vote for candidates whose platforms reflect the teachings of Jesus. And if you are still struggling to determine how best to act on the word of God, there is no better model than Jesus himself. Together, let us turn our hearts 
in prayer to our loving Father. For the faithful throughout the world, may the Lord increase in us the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For policymakers, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are burdened by the need for safety, shelter, and sustenance, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family, may the Lord strengthen our identity as one family in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may the Lord welcome them to the eternal joy of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Jerome Van Ep Epperen, for whom this Mass is especially being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and petitions in our parish book of intentions, and for those we hold in the quiet of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you never cease to love us. Graciously hear our prayers, which we bring to you through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed our Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed our Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion of faith may be theirs through this heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gain for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bones of death and manifest the resurrection, and so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, bless our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as a way, the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. God bless you. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the, of world. the world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. You take. You take. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion as prayed by Pope Francis. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Let us pray. Graciously rise up, O Lord, 
those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, you are the source of all true love and friendship and what means the family. In our my dedication relationship with my parishioners, may our love be my constant guide for choosing what is good and for rejecting what is contrary to your will. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.